Okay, well that was quick but very beautiful. 28 already, only 10.53. They said it was going to be a little cooler today, up to 32, 33. Heck of a bumpy road, this one. Beautiful views across Genoa Bay there. So glad I've got the new setup with this 360 camera because this road is bumpy enough that it would knock it right to the ground. But luckily, the setup is working stupendously well. Didn't actually get any coffee in there. Lyle has a better suggestion, so I uh, got to ride the road and I can hold off for my coffee break a little longer, but not much. Am I addicted? Not at all. Not at all. No, just... Just enjoy my little pleasures. A dapple sunlight coming through this little road here. Beautiful. You don't get many more beautiful roads than this. The road surface is absolutely crap and I'll have to write to the Ministry of Highways <laughs> to get them to repave it for us motorcyclists. I've got to take a peculiar line as well with a 360 cam hanging off the side. You can never forget it's there. Lovely following behind Lyle on his cafe there. It could be out of the 50s or 60s. I think the R9T was inspired by a lot of the guys that were turning the old 850, I think it was the 850, into uh, bobbers and cafes and putting a monoshock on it, etc, etc. I think they did a good job with the, the uh, R9T. Especially the Pure, which is simple and uncluttered. Much more svelte than the Grizzo. The Grizzo is sort of a more brutal, a brutal looking bike. Yeah, she's, she's behaving well. That's good. That was great. Lovely views behind you there. Am I taking up too much space? Yeah, a little bit. I couldn't... Okay, sorry. Might get a grumpy guy try to squeeze his car in there when there's a perfectly logical place to park instead without straight even ahead. turning the wheel. Straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, we, uh, the last place we parked, we were not there for very long and, and my bike was parked in one side and, and we were about this far, maybe a little further apart and staggered forward a bit. And this uh, rather large guy in a tiny car decides he's going to park right between the bikes instead of driving straight on. He actually had to physically turn and wheel it in there for that. Lyle was in the washroom, so when he came out he was quite surprised that anyone could actually shoehorn a car into that position. And then proceeded to, in a diplomatic tone, complain that parking was very short there and then struggle to get out of the car with his walking stick, just missing my mirror with his door. It was amazing. Still, we wouldn't want to complain. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do motorcycle reviews, 
motorcycle related product reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs as well as tours. Even though I'm not the most diligent poster, don't forget to follow me on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And to like. And especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified whenever I release a video. This is the Blue Marble Rider, out.